Hello everyone, I'm FMZ and welcome to episode 5 of League 1 to Legend with Portsmouth. Today we take on Ipswich Town in a huge game at the top of League 1. We've got a few results to run through as well before we get into it, as well as a look at a tactical tweak that has hopefully improved things. Don't forget if you enjoy this content please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, don't forget to click that notification bell to know when a new video goes up on the channel and also don't forget to leave me a comment if you've got anything to say. Let's dive into the results shall we? So following the match with Plymouth Argyle in the last episode we beat Crew by two goals to nil. Callum Johnson with a goal and then was sent off. Ellis Harrison with the second goal to give us the win over Crew. That was followed up by a one-all draw with Oxford United. Marcus Harness put us in front. Sam Long with the equaliser for Oxford. We are through to round three of the FA Cup. We have seen off Barrow by two goals to one. Paul Downing, John Marquis with our goals. Matthew Platt with the reply for Barrow. We had a comfortable away win at Blackpool. Three goals to nil. What more? Curtis and Marquis with the goals. We had a disappointing one-all draw with Peterborough after that. Harvey White put us in front, but Mohamed Issa with an equaliser in added time to snatch a point for Peterborough. And last time out, it was a 1-0 win over Walsall in the Southern Section second round of the EFL Trophy. John Marquis with a penalty. And I think that the upturn in form is down to a formation change. We have changed it slightly. We have put a central attacking midfielder into the side. We have done away with the player in front of the back four. Just to give us a bit more going forward, it seems to have done the trick so far, I guess. We'll find out today. So onto the competition screen we go. So our award for beating Warsaw is to take on Swindon Town in the next round of the Papa John's Trophy. In the FA Cup, the third round draw has been made. It is not a glamour tie for us. It is, ironically, today's opponents Ipswich Town in round three of the FA Cup. So hopefully we can get through that and maybe get a money spinner in the next round. In League One, we are currently sitting fifth in League One. AFC Wimbledon still lead the way. They have 35 points, although Ipswich do have a game in hand behind them. They are on 31. The MK Johns also have 31. Hull have 30. There's us on 29 with Sunderland and Oxford. Plymouth are on 24 with Lincoln and Peterborough as it's getting a bit congested towards the top of the table. Swindon and Shrewsbury complete the top half on 23. Down at the bottom, where Gillingham are still bottom of the table on 9. Burton Albion have 10. Northampton and Crewe have got 11. Blackpool have got 12, with Fleetwood on 14. Wigan, Accrington, Stanley and Doncaster all on 15. Rochdale on 18. Charlton on 22, with Bristol Rovers on 23. So a chance potentially today to move into the top two with results going our way. But we do need to beat Ipswich Town first and foremost. Let us take a look at the teams. So here are the two starting lineups for this one. Ipswich start with Holy in goal. Matheson, Wutherden, Chambers, Bennett, Downs, Bishop, Harrop, Edwards, Jackson with Troy Parrott leading the line. We start with McGillifray Frey in goal, Johnson, Watmore, Raggett, Daniels, Byers, Cannon, White, Harness, Curtis with John Marquis leading the line. So we're getting very familiar with Ipswich Town this season. We've taken them on in the Carabao Cup. We play them in the FA Cup and now we're playing them in the league as well. Obviously we'll have the second game with them later in the season. They are flying at the moment Our Ipswich Town. Four wins from five. We've had a little bit of an upturn in form. Three wins from five for ourselves after that defeat to Plymouth. Can we pick up a win today and go back into the top two if results go our way, of course? Obviously, we have the small matter of Hull City coming on the horizon as well. The big games are starting to come now as Ipswich get us off and underway. Hopefully, the tactical tweak has worked its magic 
Didn't want to play 4-2-3-1. Obviously, without Tom Naylor for a little while, he's out for about six weeks, so it kind of forced the decision as well, as Jackson has an early shot. McGill afraid with a save. That's far too easy getting in behind there, though. Looking towards Edwards. Matheson's gone on the overlap. Curtis has come across. Come on, someone's got to try and lay a glove on him. Matheson sends it into the middle. Parrot heads towards goal, heads it wide. Let's have a quick tactical tweak early on. Let's put Ronan Curtis as an inside forward rather than an inverted winger. Johnson looking into Watmore. One more looking inside to White. Byers looking in behind for Curtis. Great ball in behind. Will he find the back of the net? Holy with a save. Matheson with a clearance. Big chance gone. But we do get the chance from the corner. White with it. Headed away by Chambers. Almost got his head on it to Sean Raggett. What more? Goes wide looking for Harness. Up against Bennett. He's on a yellow card. Try and take him on if he can. As he tries to go beyond him. He makes a challenge, he's off, so he has to be careful. Marquis with a header, Holy with a save. Matheson with a throw, but he's giving it straight to John Marquis, who's still got it, despite the attention of Wofford and Cannon. Looking into Marquis in the channel. A couple of players in the box. Byers onto Marquis. Byers with a ball, trying to go into the middle. White with a shot over the bar. Matheson with the throw in. Tries to throw it into Edwards. He finds him this time. Matheson picks the ball up again, swings it in early. Looking for Jackson at the far post. Johnson, you've got to try and deal with that if you can. Caden Jackson sends it into the middle. Parrot heads towards goal and Troy Parrot heads into the net. Ipswich lead just before half time. And it's Troy Parrot on loan from Tottenham Hotspur who gives Ipswich Town the lead. It's a good ball into Caden Jackson. Johnson probably should be a bit tighter to him. Allows him to get the cross back in. McGillifrey cannot get there. 1 0 Ipswich. Cannon. Looking wide for Johnson. Harness has gone inside of him, though. There is Marcus Harness. As he goes into Byers, into Johnson. He's got to go into the middle. Towards John Marquis, head towards goal. Holy with the save. He needs to try and get a little bit closer. At least it's under the bar today, at least. Downs into Bishop. On towards Jackson, into Bennett's. Johnson's got to try and come across, and it's wide by Bennett's. It's not far away, though. And that is half time. It's which town won Portsmouth nil, and we've had the better of it. So the tactical change has worked. We just now cannot get the ball in the back of the net. That is the only problem. And unfortunately, if you don't do that, you ain't going to win. So unlucky so far. There's a lot more to come, I believe. Well, you've got what it takes. There's a lot more to come. There's a lot more to come. Let's get out there and find this equaliser. Because I think at the moment we deserve it. We might have a change in formation. Might try and get Ellis Harrison on the field if things don't turn after about 10, 15 minutes of the second half. Sounds like a good idea. It's what we did in the EFL Cup game against them in the Carabao Cup. Harness tries to get the shot away. Byers plays it into Johnson. Will we find a goal straight from the kickoff? Oh, it's headed away at the far post by Wolferton. Damn it. We are going to have a look at a change fairly early. Ronan Curtis is not having the greatest of games. So Ellis Harrison is going to come onto the field and we'll leave him out wide for now. As Harrop has a free kick for Ipswich. Plays it into the centre. Raggett should get there at the far post and does. But we need to be first to the second ball if we can. But Caden Jackson's there. Bennett tries to go back over the top. Headed forward by Watmore. Flicked on by Harness. Marquist, come on, John. Wake up. Ellis Harrison picks it up. Comes inside looking for Marcus Harness. Perhaps no, he's just given the ball away. Fantastic. Jackson plays it on to Parrot. Will he get a shot away, Troy Parrot? He might do. He does go for one, but it's saved by the keeper. Byers with a free kick. Chance to potentially get us back in the game. No, that's not going to do it. That's really not going to do it. As Parrot picks it up and comes down the field, Ipswich are breaking forward. Someone's got to try and take Troy Parrot out of this game at the moment. He is starting to run things. Edwards. Will he get a shot away? He will, but it's a terrible shot. Johnson with the throw. Harness coming towards him and he's headed away by Harrop, but it's a penalty. Oh, Bennett's has gone straight through the back of him and he could be off as well. Is it going to be just a talking to? It is just going to be a talking to by Carl Brooks, but John Marquis has the chance to get us level. Out of nothing. Up against Thomas Holy. Come on, John. Will he score? No, he's bit the bloody post. Keep it in move. Byers with a free kick. Are we going to get something from this one? Headed in? No, headed over by Raggett. Under the bar, please. Under the bar. Right, we're making chances now. This is good. Just need to find the goal. If we can, Harvey White's looking pretty tired. So what we're going to do is we're going to take Andy Cannon off. Going to put George Byers back one. Stay with me. 
Harrison's going to go alongside Marquist, and we're going to bring on Jordi Hawulu onto the left hand side. Going to go 4 2 4. Old fashioned 4 2 4. Don't see this formation very often anymore. Plays it towards Harrop. He's gone beyond Charlie Daniels. A racket has come across towards him, though. Will Harrop find a ball into the middle? He will on the far post, and Caden Jackson knocks it in. And that is the game. Damn it. Oh, in fairness, we do not deserve this at all. We should be level. If John Marquis knew how to take a penalty, we would be. Harrop with the ball right to the far post. We are all at sea at the back post. There was three of them that could have put that in. Turn it left, which if we are going to get back into it, we're going to have to do it quickly. Johnson. Harness. Plays it towards the centre. Hawulu! There we go. There's a goal back. Get the ball, please. Jordi Hawulu's second goal of the season. A glimmer of light. Fairness, we don't really work hard for this. Ipswich kind of switch off. Given that they've got their second goal, they're quite happy. Marcus Harnish with the ball into the middle. Hawulu with a header. 2-1. Okay, we're going to move on to attacking. Why not? Got five and a half minutes to go. Plus added time. Can we pull it out of the fire? Trying to go through downs. He has gone beyond him, to be fair. Still running across the field. Got players with him. White into Hawulu. White again. Goes wide into Charlie Daniels. Get the cross into the middle. Matheson comes up against him. Will he get a ball over? He won't. He'll go out for a corner, though. Byers into White. Onto Harrison. Charlie Daniels has come inside. Finds the ball into Hawulu. Will they find anybody? Oh, Holy saved it. Oh, my goodness me. It could have gone anywhere. Free kick. Harvey White's going to take it. Swings it towards the far post. Raggett knocks it over the bar. Two points. Sadly, it doesn't look like it's going to be anything for us today. Trying to get towards it. Downs picks it up for Ipswich. And it's going to be a free kick because we've got offside. Okay, Troy Parrott not watching his line. But we have run out of time, it seems, today. The referee will blow his whistle probably with the ball in flight. I'm not sure how this one's got away from us, but it has got away from us. Byers into white, and that is full time. Ipswich Town to Portsmouth 1. How has that got away from us? And fellas, we should have been level through John Marquist and Caden Jackson's goal. All right, Jordi Hawulu gets one back, but we gave ourselves far too much to do. So let us have a look at the league table and see where that's left us. And I suppose, on reflection, it hasn't gone that bad today because Oxford have lost, AFC Wimbledon have lost, Hull have only drawn, the MK Dons have won, but they were in front of us anyway. Sunderland haven't played, their match was postponed with Lincoln. So we've gotten away with that, really. Still on 29 points. AFC Wimbledon obviously haven't got any further away. There's still six points in front at the top of the table. Gillingham, they're off the bottom. I've just seen that. Fantastic news for them. So what we will do next time is we will come back for a match with Hull City. We've got a game with Fleetwood Town in between where hopefully we can pick up a result because today that was a bit of a head scratcher. And that's what happens when you don't take your chances. You are punished. Thankfully, the teams around us have not taken advantage of us dropping points again. Obviously, AFC Wimbledon didn't win. Hull City didn't win. Sunderland didn't play. Oxford didn't win. So, you know, we are still in the playoff places. But we do need to sort out this performing in front of the cameras, Lark. It's another defeat in a live come for us. We will try again next time against Hull City. And that will not be an easy game as well, let me tell you. We'll take a look at what happened with Fleetwood Town before we kick off against Hull. Hopefully we can pick up a result in that to give us a little bit of momentum going to the KCOM. If you've enjoyed today's video, please leave a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel but like to do so, please click that subscribe button down in the corner. Don't forget, if you've got any comments to make on today's video, please leave them below. Also, don't forget, remember the Passion for FM team, the link to the Discord servers is down in the description. I am also promoting the charity Mind. If you are struggling with your mental health through this global pandemic, there are links down in the description where hopefully you can find the support that you need. I've been FMZ. That was episode 5 of League 1 to Legend. I will see you for whole next time. Until then, thanks for watching. Goodbye.